If your nails are ridgy, dry looking, brittle, this video is for you. A little disclaimer, obviously a good diet and general health have huge impact on the nails, but many, and I would say majority of issues are caused by what we do to our nails. And there are quite a few things, effective things that can be done cosmetically. So this is what, what we're going to talk about. In this video, I wanted to show you a treatment that I do at my salon for dry surface damaged ridgy nails. It is a conditioning treatment and it's kind of like Olaplex, but for the nails. It's good to know that ridges in the nails can be a natural part of aging, like wrinkles on our faces, and they don't necessarily mean any deficiencies. Nails like that simply need more gentle care, which doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. So the treatment that you are about to see is called an IBX treatment, and it's a treatment that is done in a salon. You will see, and I will explain how this treatment works because it's pretty unique. There is nothing else like this on the market. I wanted to show you the full manicure in real time so you know what to expect if you go to the salon and how your nails can look after the treatment. If you Google IBX treatment, you will see many amazing before and after pictures, but there is something important to look for and I will show you what is realistic and what is not. Also, at the end of the video, I will show you additional products that you can use at home to further improve the condition of your nails and achieve great results DIY style. I'll also share a detailed plan on how to care for the nails like this, so watch to the end. If you would like to see a progress of this client, please hit a like. When I see a lot of likes and comments, that lets me know that you are interested in a topic, and I will offer this client a free weekly treatments and let me know how many you would like to see, so we can all see how the treatments really work, and I will film this for you. One last thing, if your nails are damaged, but they don't look exactly like these nails, I put together a special playlist for trouble nails, and I'm going to add it at the end of this video. Okay, let's see the treatment. Okay, so we have a client here, and we're going to remove the Dazzle Dry Polish. This has been on the nails for two weeks, and we're gonna do IBX treatment for the nails because they are uh, in need of a treatment. So I'm going to start by removing it. And this is how I remove it. I just place it on the nail and wait for the, the polish to get dissolved. And this way it comes off much easier and much cleaner. Before the IBX treatment, I really make sure that the polish is completely gone because we want the treatment to absorb into the nail. So the treatment is not, sorry, the treatment doesn't stay on top of the nail, it stays in the nail. So we wanna make sure that it gets absorbed. So now as I'm removing the other one, I'm going to shake the bottle of the IBX repair. So the IBX Repair is a thinner product that is meant to repair uh, damaged areas. So we don't really have damaged areas, but you know what, as a first treatment, I do it. It's not going to hurt the nails, but it might give me better results. And we're gonna leave this on for one minute under the heat. I'm going to actually time it. So I'm going to be doing um, two things at the same time, because obviously I can't work in two hands at the same time. So we can we can um, do the treatment on the other hand in the meantime. The nails have a little bit of staining because of uh, the client was using a regular red nail polish. I think without a base coat, she was telling me. And this is what happens very often. Dazzle Dry doesn't usually stain the nails like yellow. 
you can see a little bit of a staining that's like a red staining from the pigment, but that's going to come off. And this is what happens when the nails um, separate sometimes, when they peel like this, the polish doesn't peel, but the nail here peels. So that's what happens sometimes. Okay, this is one minute already. Okay, so now we're going to just dab off the excess. So whatever didn't absorb into the nail, we're going to wipe off. Because again, we don't want the product on the nail, we want it inside of the nail. And now it goes in the light. Okay, so the other hand is cured now, and now I'm going to wipe this hand with alcohol and put a second coat as I'm doing a manicure on the other hand. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the IBX Strengthen. I'm going to put it on the nail, away from the skin, always. You don't really have to go very close to the skin because the product goes inside and it kind of spreads inside anyway. So now we're going to put this coat under heat for four minutes. The maintenance treatments are a little bit shorter. It takes two minutes for this coat. Okay. I'm going to shape the nails. I get so many clients, um, so many viewers asking or commenting about filing back and forth. So filing back and forth is completely fine. I think that's... Uh, an old wife's tail that we can't file back and forth and that somehow that damages the nail. It doesn't. So I'm going to actually link a reference to the video in the description box. What matters is the surface of the nail. If the surface of the nail is healthy, nothing is going to happen to the nail but if it's weak it's going to start peeling and if someone is using um, a file that is too coarse then yes the finish is not going to be very smooth but you can shorten the nails with a you know pretty coarse file not too coarse but then you can smooth it with a buffing block that's what I usually do Nails like this need just more care. So they need warm oil soaks. This is what I would recommend, and this is what I recommend to the client. Once the polish is off, I would suggest doing warm oil soaks once a week. That, over time, really, really benefits the nail. And also using a couple other products that I would recommend. One is the, uh, it's called SI Nails from Istin. It's like a pen that has um, like a liquid that has mastic gum in it and it helps to kind of seal the surface of the natural nail a little bit 
And the other one that I would recommend is called, it's from CMD, it's called Rescue RX. And this is what I would do first. I wouldn't be recommending any hardeners because these nails tend to be brittle. And we don't want to harden brittle nails because that makes it even worse. And what I definitely would recommend is applying just a drop of oil after each hand wash because very often people just use the oil once a day and that doesn't make a difference then. It doesn't really benefit nails if you wash your hands like 20 times a day. going to do a very very light buff to see this is a very fine buffer nails that are porous as you can see here they sadly tend to stain very easily because they anything will absorb into that type of nail So this type of staining is not very deep. It's very, very superficial. So especially because we're doing the IBX treatment, I don't feel like this is going to cause a lot of damage. Next time, what I would recommend, seeing this experience, I don't have a lot of experience with this particular color, but I've actually heard from one of the viewers that it does, it can cause staining. So I would use two layers of base coat and see if that helps, or even a coat of uh, like a very sheer color underneath to see if that helps. Okay, so the other hand has had a chance to soak in all the treatment. So we're gonna wipe off the excess and cure it. Okay, Lamado Dento. I'm gonna push back the living skin. This is proximal nail fold. This is not a cuticle. Cuticle is this white stuff. So I'm going to push back that skin. This client has beautiful skin around her nails. And why? Because she doesn't cut it. And because she's she has good genetics <laughs> that way. Some people just don't ever have any issues with that skin overgrowing. Okay, so this has cured already. We're gonna wipe it with alcohol. When you're doing the manicure this way, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing because it's very easy to get lost. And now this is the second coat of the Strengthen. And this one is going to be heated up only for two minutes. First, when I was uh, new to IBX, this was very confusing. So sometimes if you're very new to this, don't do it this way. <laughs> this is like a time saver, but I would suggest first doing the, the IBX treatment and then doing the manicure. Because you're gonna get completely confused in this way. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to gently exfoliate the skin around the nails here a little bit and just remove the cuticle from the surface of the nail. But I'm doing this very, very gently, the very, very low speed. So I'm not buffing the nail here, I'm just removing the cuticle. I like doing these little taps without much pressure because that gives me better control. And I have the file flat to the surface of the nail. And you can tell I'm doing this very, very gently because there is not a lot of dust coming off. 
the nail. So if you see a lot of dust, unfortunately, then probably the nail is being affected. So you don't want to see a lot of dust, especially when you're filing the surface. Here, sometimes there is a little bit more skin. Be careful when clients have um, these little ridges, it's because you don't want to remove the ridges. So you have to be very, very gentle. So IBX treatment helps, but it's not a miracle. And to see results, you have to do it on a, on a regular basis, sadly. And then I suggest usually doing the IBX treatment initially, maybe even once a week, and then once every two weeks, and then doing the warm oil soaks at home. It sounds like a lot, but it's, it really isn't. If you don't have access to IBX treatments, you can definitely do the warm oil soaks and they're going to give you very good results as well. This has been three minutes now, so that's great. Two is enough, but three is okay as well. Wipe the excess. And go under the lamp. This really goes into that little broken area. Okay, now it goes into well, uh, under the heat. Okay. So this hand, the treatment is done. The good thing about this treatment is that there is nothing to really maintain. So if someone has time just for one treatment, that's completely fine as well. So the other hand is ready to go under the light. So we're going to dab off the excess. 
very lightly. As you can see, it's soaked in. It's not as shiny. So this is a UV cured product. It's kind of like gel with oil. So it's it's it really you're putting product into the nail, not on top of the nail. But if you have allergies, so if you guys, because that's becoming very very common, very sadly, to any acrylates, then you want to make sure that you don't use this product because after all, this is still UV cured product. And you have to be careful that there was no skin contact with this product. Okay, now it goes into the heat. Okay, and we can continue with this. And time the other hand for four minutes. So now the maintenance, what I would do is, because there was not a lot of really damage, depending on how the nails look next time. I might do the first step, the repair, for one minute. Sometimes it's not necessary. And then all you have to do is you have to apply the second product for two to three minutes. They say two minutes, but I usually leave it for three. And that's it. So the initial one is a little bit longer. you are using cuticle remover if you don't have the electric file then you want to do the IBX treatment before and then you can do your regular manicure with the cuticle remover because you don't want the water to soak into the nail because if the water is in there the IBX is not going to uh, absorb properly or do your regular manicure wait an hour at least so the water has a chance to evaporate from the nail and then do IBX treatment But for nails like these, I really feel that the cuticle remover might be sometimes doing more damage. So I would be cur uh, very careful with it. Because the cuticle removers can be quite corrosive as well, because they, they are meant to break down skin. And the skin and the nails are made of, uh, especially the, well, the nails, keratin, but it's a protein. So it it's irritates the skin as well and irritates and breaks down the nail. I mean, we 
have to use them in order to remove the cuticle, but in some cases, this type of manicure is beneficial, but you really, really have to be very well trained. And it's very easy to do damage. Excess. spray them with alcohol, make sure that there is nothing left on the skin. So I'm gonna show you two things. This one is the uh, Istin pen, and then the other one is the Rescue RX, and we're gonna do one on each hand, just to show you guys. So you wanna click. They say to click for each nail, but I find that it's too much product that way. It's more than plenty. So if you decide to use this, then you would use it once a day at night, preferably. It dries very quickly. So after a few days, I noticed, because we've, we've used it, it just gives the nails like a nice um, bit of a shine, nice healthy surface. And after it's dry, I'll apply oil. hides I mean oil helps that's how you treat dry skin too but it hides a lot of the damage as well so a lot of times when sometimes you see the before and after pictures with IBX it there with oil so um, truly IBX is not going to give you visible results after one treatment it's just over time but the nails get better They do slightly look like they're sealed a little bit better, but it's not a like a shocking result. Okay, so the other hand has been under the heat for two minutes, and now I'm gonna dab off the excess. And it goes in the lamp.
Okay. Okay. okay, very important. Wipe this with alcohol to make sure there's nothing on the surface. It's uncured. Well, this time we're gonna use this. So I know this looks like an oil, but it's not actually an oil. It's a uh, emulsion actually. So it has some water in it. And you don't have to be very precise with it. Just a little dab. So the outfit has is a keratin treatment or something. Daily keratin treatment, yes, but really it's not the keratin that's very helpful. There's another ingredient that bonds to the nails that helps to kind of seal the surface a little bit. So this one is a little bit more oily, so then you don't have to use the oil. Actually, it has jojoba oil as well. And this you want to use twice a, twice a day. The other pen, once a day, they recommend. I posted this video on Patreon a few days ago for our Patreon subscribers. And one of our Patreon subscribers, Jill, she asked a very good question. She says, how do you know that you should get IBX treatment? So I recommend IBX treatment when the whole surface is kind of rough and dry looking. I don't find IBX very effective when the nail surface looks very healthy and shiny and just the ends of the nails are peeling like I'm gonna show you a picture. And I also don't recommend this treatment on very damaged, thin nails. This treatment soaks into the nail plate and then it's okay. But if there was a skin exposure because the nail plate is so thin, then no, I don't recommend this treatment because there is a risk of allergic reaction. Oh.